<sighs> What's happening, YouTube? It's me, Matt from A to Z Diecast, with again a fox body. Well, two foxes. So we got a new release and new to me uh, custom from the late great Chris Walker, a one of one. So let's check both these out and talk a little bit about what we got in front of us. This is the brand new M2 um, stuff they have from that they're just mass producing foxes and more foxes. And, you know, you know, we're all hooked on foxes. If you're a Fox Body fan, you know that. And we all just keep buying them. So they're going to keep putting them out. But it's it's getting it's getting to a point where it's it's getting a little crazy. Here. So, what color is this thing? So, 1988 Ford Mustang GT. I uh, pearl sparkle. Dark pink, burgundy-ish. I don't know. Um, well, let's check it out. So you got the ugly turbines on there. Yes, I know they were stock on the Mustang, but they're gross. A uh, little paint defect over here. See the little bubble, like drip in the wheel well. Quality control is not that great on this one because you also have a bunch of, I don't know if you can make it out. See, I can see it, I don't know if you can, right here, extra paint on the bottom of the door. Interior is a bright orangish red, not the porno red, but you can see the details though. You know I can't stand this thing down here. Or the fact that they wrote Mustang G Mustang GT here because it should be up there. Um, little defect. Oh no, just a piece of something that was on there. The marker lights. This one's pretty crappy. The headlights got a little extra plastic over here, but the marker light doesn't look that bad on this side. What do you think? What do you think? What motor? I'm going with the regular 5.0. Uh, there we go. Paint uh, had it a little very, very tight. It is a regular 5.0 motor. Stock. Stock motor. Nothing extra on the rims. The rims actually look like they're off. Like they lost their bead. You see that? Yeah, both sides. Oh, no, this one doesn't look like it, but the re other three do. You see that? I mean, it's hard to see on the camera, but this one looks like it's off the bead. This one doesn't. Both of these look like they're, they've they lost the bead. This guy's running on three flats. Um, Going to the collection, but, you know, it's starting to get a little, uh, a little off. Give me some good colors. Give me some real colors. Haven't seen a tan. Oh, did they do a tan? I don't think they did a tan. My brain's not working yet. So, tail lights. Yeah. Not the the bad ones that are coming off. It's there. Cow's a little messy. But what are you gonna do? It's a 164. Uh, for those of you, this is a mail call off of eBay. Now. Uh, if you don't know who he was, Chris Walker was uh, a, a great customizer, uh, very light by Hot Wheels, used to do the uh, con the convention pieces, the um, charity ones, the charity conventions, custom ones, and I knew of this car, and somebody in one of the Facebook groups was clearing out a lot of his Chris Walker cars, so he's not making anymore. Uh, untimely death a couple months ago. Has it been a couple months ago? I think it's a couple months. Maybe a month. Um, met the guy a couple times. Great personality. Um, 
and I've, I've really slowed down, almost stopped on my buying of customs, but yeah, I, 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 you know, I always wanted a fox from him. He didn't make that many that I know of, so had to grab it. Um, here it is, Chris Walker, 2021, one of one. So, yeah, it's mine now. So let's open this up real quick. Come on. This is a um, homage throwback to the California Customs late, uh, mid, early 80s for Hot Wheels. I mean, you can see the perfection that he he just always did with his decals. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's cool to have a one of one. Uh, I, don't know, I may, I may, ooh, I may throw some uh, shellac on his uh, signature just to preserve it, but. So you got the 80s graphics, neon pink. I remember growing up in, in the in the 80s and was it Gap or Old Navy? We all had the bright neon clothes with these weird graphics all over them. This is, this is what it was. 21 is for the year that it was made. There's your Cal Custom up there. Um, so yeah, this is a great piece that I picked up. It wasn't, um, you yeah, know, I made an offer and the guy accepted it. Um, if you're watching, thanks for adding this to my collection. Maybe I'll throw it in, uh, in the, yo, you know what? I, off the top of my head, I can't remember the, your name, but I'm going to message it to you with all in our, in our di private messages that, uh, it went to a good home and, uh, I'm glad I have it. And, um, you know. Chris Walker will be uh, truly missed in the uh, collecting world. Oh, again, thanks for watching. Ooh, I hate when I do that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Again, open up, open it up. What I collect. Again, I open them. Ninety-five percent of my stuff I open. You know that. Maybe even ninety-nine. One of one, Chris Walker, Cal Customs Fox Body from 2021, and the brand new release from M2. There's 9,000 pieces of these. 9,000. Release number 69. Ooh, release number 69. This weird color of the fox. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check the rest of my videos. Peace.